folks in McGoffin County are no strangers to seeing just how much damage Mother Nature can cause. A tornado outbreak in 2012 destroyed many buildings in Salyersville. Connolly Feed Store survived that storm, but more than two years ago, this was the scene when a fire put them out of business. It had stood as a fixture in the community since 1958. Then yesterday, the latest blow to the old store when high winds ripped the roof off and it landed on top of the owner's home. WIMT's Alex Casper Peak revisits the scene tonight as the Connollys prepare for the latest storm threat. She joins us now live. Alex? Steve and Angela, as you can see, it's not storming outside right now, but it will be here soon. That leaves one McGoffin County family worried about their home. It was something they never thought would happen to them, a storm causing major damage to their home. The high wind and stuff, and it just came through here just really, really fast. Winds fast enough to tear the roof off of the Connolly's old business and move it to their home. And he told me that uh, that the roof had blown off the feed, old feed store, and I just didn't know what to think. You know, I, I just couldn't believe the whole roof was on my house. Grateful no one was home during the storm. Thankful though that no one was hurt. That's the most important thing because all this stuff can be replaced, but lives can't. And as Mother Nature continues to hit the area, the Connolly family hopes for no more damage. The roof that's laying on top of us, I hope has got it covered to where it don't rain so bad, but we can't even get up there to it because we're afraid to of causing more damage. As they start to fix. I can't believe this has happened. You know, you see it all the time on the news, but it's always different when it hits home, you know, it's called your house or. The mess Mother Nature left behind. Connolly tells me that he is not sure how much damage is actually here. He talked to an insurance adjuster who says they'll know more next week. For now, live in McGoffin County, I'm Alex Casper-Peak. Steve, back to you. Well, thank you, Alex.